Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about Rolle's Theorem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x squared plus 4x plus 5 uh, from the interval from negative 3 to negative 1, and we want to find the values of c that satisfy Rolle's Theorem. Now, this function here, we know it's continuous from a to b, and it's differentiable on a to b as well. If I find, I found this for you, f of negative 3 is equal to 2, and f of negative 1 is equal to 2 as well. When we plug those values into our function. Because we know all that, we can use Rolle's theorem here to find our value of c. So to do that first, we need to first find the derivative. So let's go find what f prime of x is here. Now we're going to use the power rule, 2 comes down, and 2x to the first power plus, well, just 4. Not too bad here. From there, we're applying Rolle's theorem. We can say f prime of x is equal to 0. We define that value. So we take 2x plus 4, set it equal to 0, and this is actually a pretty easy problem. Subtract 4 to both sides here. We have 2x equals a negative 4, divide both sides by 2, and x equals a negative 2. And so our c value here is a negative 2, and that is a c value that satisfies Rolle's theorem. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.